hey you guys what's going on it's your girl catalina aka style of catalina on instagram today is going to be an affordable back to school look this drugstore beat this drugstore beat this drugstore beat yeah, this is basically what I'm going to be doing for the first day of school. If you want to know how to achieve this drugstore beat, back to school beat, just keep on watching. I already started off by moisturizing my lips. Um, I used the Sexy Mother Pucker from Silk and Glory. This is the Pillow Plump. And it doesn't really plump my lips because my lips are already, you know, Okay, so now what I do is I basically put the Cody Airspun for my eyebrows. I just set them because my eyebrows get really shiny throughout the day if I don't do anything to them. This is about... And it varies from different stores. At Walgreens, it's eight dollars. Walmart, I believe, is seven dollars. I'm not sure. This is embarrassing, but this is the eyebrow pencil that I use to fill in the front of my brows from the beauty supply store. It's two ninety nine or one ninety nine, I believe. Sometimes I use this I Envy Kiss brow pomade in ebony. So. What I do for my brows, fill them in the front. Just create little lines to make them kind of look like hairs. And don't worry if it looks crazy because we're gonna fix it. I'm going to be taking the brow pomade and filling the rest of my brows. I'm using the ColourPop concealer. This is in the shade tan. clean up the top part of my brows and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Cover Girl Queen Collection and this is in the color this is in the color toffee I'm going to take the lighter concealer from ColourPop this is in golden. I'm going to be moving on to the face. And I'm going to be color correcting with the Ruby Kisses orange corrector. Now because I'm going to be taking this right off, I'm not putting on a primer. But a good primer that you can use is from Wet n Wild. What I was supposed to do first was use the Cody Airs Blend and place that on my pores. It keeps my face from being oily throughout the day or reduces the shine, actually. I'm going to be using this Milani foundation. And this is in the color tan and then I'm going to be mixing this with the Queen collection from CoverGirl and Toffee using this foundation brush from Real Techniques
Going in with the ColourPop concealer. We don't want to do too much under the eyes. My camera died, but I'm going to be taking this um, Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. But I'm using the, this to blend out the concealer. Then I'm going to be taking the Cody Airspun again and setting. I think I'm going to be using this brush from Real Techniques too. Placing that under the eyes. So now that we have that, I either use. Black Radiance Contour Palette Medium to Dark. This is what it looks like inside. It has a darker shade, a lighter shade, and a highlight. Usually I go in with this first for it to be like a transition before I put the darker shade in. And I go in with this lightly. And this highlight, personally, it doesn't really look good with my skin tone. This is more of like a golden color. And it would be perfect for like a deeper skin tone. Or I use the Ruby Kisses Contour Palette. This has many options. As you can see, I always go in with this one. Sometimes I use it as a shadow. Sometimes I set my face with this a little bit. Um, yeah, this has many options, especially if you're like doing clients and stuff. So, so I'm going to be taking this contour brush from Wet n Wild. This is, this was $2.99 I think for this brush. Oh, and the contour palette, this was $5.99 or $6.99 from the beauty supply store. And this was $6.99, the Black Gradients contour palette was, yeah, $6.99 I think. Alright, so I'm just going to take this sculpt color. I learned that when you take a lighter shade, it's basically like a transition for the darker, just like for eyeshadow. When you take the lighter shade for eyeshadow, it's a transition, and then you go in with the darker one. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then lightly because this is really pigmented so I'm gonna carve out that contour a bit I use this L'Oreal mascara. This is supposed to be comparable to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm just gonna be brushing the brush. These are the lashes I'm gonna be using today. To put on my lashes, I use these tweezers for $1.99. I got these from Walgreens and um the lash glue that I use and that I love and that I always go back to buy is the Duo Lash Glue. So, I'm back and I'm better. It's like, um, I'm back. But I put on the other lash um, and then after I'm done, I just squeeze my lashes and the false lashes together. You can use your fingers or you can use the tweezers. A little trick that I do for false lashes, um, I don't do it all the time because sometimes I forget. But I usually push down my lids 
So that way it kind of like covers the lash band a little bit. I'm going to be using the Precious Petals um, highlighter from Wet n Wild. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm using this blush brush. y'all see what is going on right now the two lippies that i'm using for the ombre nude look this is from ruby kisses and this is in the color dune and then this is in the color oh boy so this is like a brown shade and this is like I'm actually gonna highlight my I'm using this for the first time. This is the Ruby Kisses Never Touch Up Matte Finish Setting Spray. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys took, you know, some notes on everything that I use for my face. Like I said, this is very affordable because I personally know the struggle of you know like trying to stay on a budget and everything like that if you're starting school if you're going to college trade school getting your license getting your certification drop those comments below let me know what you're going for what school you're going to where you're from let me know i want to chat with y'all <laughs> i want to chat with y'all because i really believe that it's important to get your education even if you know you're not going to college just get educated, get some knowledge, research, do whatever you have to do to know your background on what you're doing in life. Stay in the books. Like, you know, don't let people or things get in the way of you succeeding, getting that good grade, getting the way of you studying. You know, just make sure you guys humble yourself. You know, try to get away from the people that are distracting you. Stay in a place, in your dorm, in your room, go to the library, wherever you have to go just to pass the course, just to pass, you know, this semester. And even if you're not going to college, if you're going to like a trade school or, you know, something that will get your certificate or your license, just stay focused. Stay focused and just pray that, you know, God will give you the strength, will give you the wisdom to pass you know and um just keep your mind straight whatever grade you're in just stay focused you know don't worry about the teachers that are giving you a hard time or don't worry about the students that pick on you or bully you or whatever the case may be just make sure you guys pray prayer is number one make sure you guys like this video and subscribe if you haven't for those who already subscribed to me and stay subscribed to me look at this a scam mm. anyway thank you so much for being patient with me like i love y'all scammer just called me twice see the devil trying me we're gonna review Make sure you guys are following me on my social media handles as well. Style of Catalina for everything. I will leave that in the description box below. So make sure you guys click. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so that's it you guys. Make sure you love others because God loved you first. And I'll see you in the next video if God willing. Bye!